Today I'll be reacting to a video about the way India is presented in the media and what's really like what India is really about. It's a short like some clips from the original video. The video is I'll put a link to it or I'll write the name somewhere here. Go watch the original channel, like, comment, subscribe to their channel because they worked really hard and they deserve all the credit. Before I'm doing this react, I want to talk to you a little bit about how Israeli people see India because we're not getting the information only through, you know, the media. A lot of Israeli going to India, you probably met some Israeli people there. And a lot of the things they're telling us, it's you know, lots of um, colors, lots of spices and music everywhere. And I'm pretty sure it's not, you know, everywhere you're not going to the street and music plane but this is the places that you show to the tourists so just like know how the tourists see your country a lot of people talked about um how every everyone is smart and happy and just like living life with like a lot of different styles there which is amazing um, a lot of spirituality which is really cool and really nice because it's kind of similar to Israel so people are a lot of people told me they feel like home in India because okay different country different culture but there's a lot of things that remind them of Israel which is really cool because you can go to see a different culture and different life but still feel a little bit connected yeah so this is how Israeli people see India I just wanted to tell you that before I'm watching this clip because I don't want to tell you after that um, oh yeah we also have this and that because I just want to let you know you know this is how the Israeli people see you guys and um, okay let's see how the media is presenting you yeah so let's start the reaction I'm sorry for blabbering before ready let's start in the year of 1947, the British decided to leave India, but just before they packed their bags, they had made India bleed even more by pushing it into a deadly civil war. Change the word India Who to Israel and we'll have the same time That just in a few decades, Indian companies would be buying and taking over the top British brands like Jaguar, that's a really good payback. Of the famous tea brand that Super you know smart. as Stepley. Who would have imagined that an Indian brand Tata would buy a steel company, Koros, and provide jobs to the British in their own land? Actually, I will not be very surprised if this video will shock the international community a bit. When you hear the word India, the images that come to your mind are something like this. When the media in your country talks about India, they show you clips like this. But what they are not showing you, and what they are actually hiding from you, is that India also looks like this. Oh wow, that's really awesome. It's really pretty. Who could have thought a few decades earlier that the British government would be panicking and calling a special session of parliament when an Indian company Tata would decide to sell their brand Koros, which would be making thousands of British jobless. Oh, well, that's kind of sad. Could have thought that in just a few decades after the independence from the British, an Indian company Tata would actually become the biggest private sector employer of the UK. It took just a few decades for so the Indians awesome. to show what they were capable of. And all of this was done in a complete fair business environment. I'm not talking about just Amazing. one Indian brand. Today, there are many brands and individuals from India who are creating huge business empires on the land of the UK. Wow. The British have so much to learn. But Indians are not here to take any revenge or prove a point. They are just doing what they have been always good at. And that is not just yoga, Ayurveda or IT. Indians, who are the masters of spirituality, are also masters in business. Indian economy has finally gained momentum. And mind you, 
it has not got to the fifth gear yet. Probably it is still in the second gear, but what is surprising that even in the second gear it has already become the fastest growing major economy in the world, already taking over China in that regard. And India still has so much of unutilized potential which is lying in its reserves. Now let's talk about the major industries of India. IT sector. India is the world's largest sourcing destination for the information technology industry, accounting for approximately 67% of the 124 to 130 billion US dollars market. Oh, India impressive. ranks third among global startup ecosystems with more than 4,200 startups. Healthcare sector. India is fast becoming a hub of medical tourism of both types of healthcare, modern medicine and natural, which includes Ayurveda and other natural treatments. Again, same it like takes the advantage of the new state of art hospitals and well trained and high skilled professionals which is supplemented by mm -hmm. its low cost. The cost of surgery in India is about I mean, one-tenth really awesome, of what the in the US like or Western Europe. India like is a top air. destination for you, whether it's about natural treatments, a heart surgery, a cosmetic surgery, or a dental treatment, which your country's natural insurance may not be covering. It was better that you start educating yourself about the rising economic powerhouse that we know as India. Because your future belongs here too. So before everything, and I know it's not related exactly to the movie, but it was kind of weird for me to see a woman dressed in a traditional... Tell me guys if the, this is a traditional clothing in India, because I kind of feel it's fake when I see someone who's not Jewish and he's wearing a, a yarmulke or something, just, you know, to look like or something, um, it's kind of feel fake and it's kind of, you know, bugging me a little bit, but I understand that she's trying to, you know, show the, show the culture of India, so, well, that was kind of weird. Um, the British, all, everything with the British, those guys are the same, like, with Israel. They decided to live and make sure that everyone will see how it was good when they were here and when they were here they were really annoying to the Jews and to the Arabics they just like it was a nightmare with them it feels like they they tried to you know like those annoying people who just like pushing you and pushing your button pressing your buttons just to see you like going crazy it's kind of what the British have done here and I'm pretty sure that's what they did in India I know they say they're not into revenge and payback, but I really feel like this revenge of how you guys showing them how India is super smart and look guys, we make we made a job for you so you guys can, f can go to work and feed your families, your British families. I feel this is the most amazing payback ever. This is, this is a revenge, but in a really good, like a really good way just like to tell them okay you're you're really mean to us and it was a nightmare living with you guys but again we're not gonna be those terrible people we're gonna show you how how we live and we're not gonna treat you the same I feel like this is so amazing this is really really important thing to do really smart thing we all should learn that for you know our just like life. Another thing is how the media is showing India how um, everyone is poor and everything is you know so crowded and stuff but I also feel like it's kind of what the tourists see be when they are there so I feel like you guys should do something in the cities in the big cities for tourists for tourists who's not just you know business people and stuff so everyone will really see the real India because some people can watch this clip and say no the tall buildings the stuff I mean yeah I saw him from afar but there's nothing to do there there's no um, parties or something so I I haven't 
go there I mean I went to the beach and stuff like this so I understand why the media is deciding to show that to people because again everyone want to you know show how our country is better look at different countries they're so sad whatever but I feel like it's really important that you guys also try to show the tourists so the media can't show a lot of things but if someone was really there he can say look guys this is bullshit this is the real thing and a lot of people will believe the guy who has been there so I really think that's something India should work on and also Israel I mean a lot of people say oh Jerusalem is a is a desert and there's camels everywhere and stuff and we're like dude we have a lot of buildings here and I'm going outside and there's no sand so it's also something we need to work on because this is what the tourists see more important than everything was the medical like things it's amazing to see how Israel and India also the same in this because a lot of people also come in here from all over the world to get better and it's really cool to see that India also have that tourism like people travel to the country to get well like to have an operation and to feel better I feel it's it's so important and it's so amazing thank you guys for watching this video if you have any ideas for the things that you think that we should see you feel free to write them down so thank you for the support and that's it and that's it and that's it